Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. We're gonna be ranchers soon. Into town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, rode a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite I hear tell was much worse than his bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, and bet we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch He just wanted some help and there wasn't a catch As he swam off I wish that we hadn't all ditched But no one dared get near The itchy trigger fish Always kind to his brother, comes in out of the rain. Gets his homework done early, gives up his seat on the train. Oh yeah. He's always using his brain. Listens close to his mother, always helps out his dad. Everyone seems to like him. Cause Billy ain't bad. She's mighty good looking, but Carol Katie's cooking is nothing to go on about. I do wear a maple sneak underneath the table, but my dog fest just spins it right out. <laughs> good boy.
Let me ride with the tide, let me spend my days outside on wide open wings. Come with me and you'll see the unending harmony of wide open wings. We can make it happen with a single notion, we don't need a map or any sails from motion. We Swimming once, just a little ways upstream. When a plastic worm with a painted on eye came floating in between. It turned and spin while we both grinned like it was dinner time. But then I got this feeling that we was being fed a line. I hollered, Jake, that worm's a fake. And Jake said, what you mean? I said that I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. I told him I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. Got me a bar running, guitar strumming, food brushing, baby hushing, toy fixing, cement mixing, prison smelling, story telling, mom. Love you, Mama. She's mighty good looking, but Carol Katie's cooking. There's nothing to go on about. I do wear a maple sneak underneath the table, but my dog fest just spits it right out. <laughs> Good boy. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Ah! 
I am humongous. if they know anything about those rustlers. my best friend Luther. Orchid squid of the Santa Clara squids and these would be Perry and Ape. Perry Winkle and Apricot are my grandsons. <gasps> Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? I heard Miss Stella down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh boy, maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Eight, six, seven. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding! How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible! I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish. That's good because rustling folks hogfish just isn't right. What can I do for you kids? One cinnamon soda, please. Coming right up. My pal, Luther. Well, hello! Eight-fingered Phil. Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway.
Gale Rider. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. So, all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. <laughs> Hmm. 
It says, just buckles. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Sleepy! Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine. Eight. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Nine. Eight. Seven. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still call it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest Rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. A blue 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an L on it and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be Rustlers since you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for Rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big! <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. 
Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. You know, the coffee might not have spilled on the plans if someone hadn't filled my cup so full. Well, maybe someone should use a bigger cup. I might use a bigger cup if someone made better coffee. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my. I traded away my monica. For a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Now. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no, it's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. an old shoe. It's just a pile of junk. It's an anchor. and swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. to chew, but I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. I 
don't think I've ever seen anyone eat so fast. Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, um, oh, now, what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Are you ready to start? Here is a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you! round and purple and pokey. Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. Ooh. 
we can't get in there. The water level is too low. I wonder if there's some way we could move the sail out of the way without being able to reach it. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Sorry, I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? can do this. There must 
be a way to get by. can do this. Ouch! There must... Ouch! Ouch! I know we can do... Ouch! We'll have to sneak past while they're not in the way. We made it! I knew we could do it! Look, Luther! Another purple sea urchin! Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place! It's a crank handle! Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. Huh? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Huh? Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it! Reflex! Reflex? Happens whatever anybody gets near me! Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great! Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. We'd like to buy your pack of bubblegum, please. Excellent, excellent. 
Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins, so you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you, and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Now we've got a handle on that sail. <laughs> purple and pokey. Eek! Is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh! I wasn't afraid.
spice container. This could come in handy. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. It's pepper. Really? It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. One container of pepper. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes! Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another Wheel Nut? We don't need another Wheel Nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! 
I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was you, Luther. Oh, yeah. Hey! A harmonica! Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Well, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange. With my compliments. Thanks. 
Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks him something awful. What's he got against glue? this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. looks nicer now. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it! Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work! Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back! Yikes! Uh. 
My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a rustler! Good! That's what we want! There! This ought to fool them. Now, let's rescue those hogfish! Yeah! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait! I'm coming with you! Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow rustler! Ahem! Howdy! I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori! He's having a terrible time with the hogfish! Well, go on in! He'll be glad to see you! Thank you! We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? <laughs> Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Gruntle. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying, stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. 
very interesting. What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. That's very interesting. Phew. These bars are definitely loose. We just need to find a way to pull them really hard. And then the hogfish can get out? Exactly. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. If we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? <laughs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law! Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. 
I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> When the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks! Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? I suspect Mr. Fingers! Whoa! No way, baby! I don't know rustling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. That could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, oh, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. 
Oh, Stewball was a racehorse, wish she was mine. <laughs> Do you really want to quit? 